I will try this question. Uh, welcome back to our uh, financial accounting discussion. And uh, we discussed uh, last class uh, the rules, double entry rules, uh, how uh, we have to debit and we have to collect. And can we use that knowledge to complete this table? Sales for cash, uh, Mr. Homi. Where I will debit and where I will collect? Debit. Hmm? Uh, I sales, will? Uh, sales credit is cash debit. Yeah, the sales I will credit, credit and then the cash debit. debit. Sales for credit, yes yeah, sir. S sales and credit. Sales credit, where debit? See, you have two column here, debit yeah. column and credit column. Now this one, sales for cash. We debit cash and we credit the sales. Okay. Now, sales on credit. Okay. So we have to... Sales, sales and credit mm. or debit uh, customer. Receivables, yes. Mm. Purchase on credit, Mr. Uh, so uh, purchase yes. account debit. Okay. And uh, supplier account credit. Very good. Uh, Baha? Borshez uh, for cash. Uh, Borshez uh, credit. Purchase credit. Why purchase credit? So do you know uh, that tool? No, they follow that tool. Expenses. Purchase is an expense. Yeah, if uh, the purchase will increase, debit. debit. And then cash is an debit. example of? Asset. So I am purchasing for cash, then my what will happen to my cash? It will increase or decrease? Cash? Yes. Uh, increase. Cash increase? Yeah. Mm. So I pay money. So mm. what, what will happen to my cash? Your, your cash uh, decrease. Decrease. So mm. if the cash is an example of asset, and if the asset will decrease, I should debit or credit. What should I do? If uh, again, if my uh, any of my assets hmm. reduces, so I should debit or I should credit that. Uh, reduces credit. Ah, so purchase is an expense increase, so you debit. Okay. Per, uh, cash, you pay, so reduce, credit. so you credit. credit. Okay, now pay electricity bill. Yes, sir. Uh, this uh, debit expenses. Mm, very good. And uh, credit. Uh, Cash. Cash. Good. Uh, Mr. Uh, Homi, receive cash from a credit customer. Uh, debit uh, cash account. Mm -hmm. Credit to the customer account. Okay. Credit. Receivable Receive account. account or uh, you can use different yeah. names. Receivable yeah. account, yeah. customer account, debtor's account. You can use interchangeably. Pay cash to a credit customer. Sir, you. Supply debit. Okay. Cash credit. Very good. Borrow money from the bank, Mr. Bahar. This uh, liability. Yes, I borrow money from bank, so I receive money, so cash is coming to me, cash is an example of asset, so, exactly, so debit. debit what? Cash. Very good, and then where to credit? Uh, uh, bank. No, you don't say bank because you are borrowing money from the bank, then you should say bank loan, bank loan. if you simply say bank, then the meaning is different, mm -hmm. okay, good. Can you try this question now? Uh, Douglas has the following transaction during January. Introduce 5000 cash as capital, purchase goods on credit from Richard, worth 2000, paid rent for one month 500, paid electricity for one month 200, purchased car for cash 1000, sold half of the goods on credit to Tish for 1750, drew 300 for his own expense, Sold goods for cash 2100. Required to post transaction 1 to 8 to the relevant ledger accounts. Can you do it now or you want to do it as homework? What do you want me to do? If you want to do it now, fine, I can do it. But otherwise, if you can try at home, also good. You can try at home. What do you think? Okay. We'll do it. Yeah. Uh, that's page number. Page number is page number. Page number 69, no? Yeah, 69, Sri Lanka very famous. <laughs> Yeah, 
we will do this question. Is that this chapter is over? Or is that this chapter? Okay. Right. And we try this question. Ron Luckel set up a business selling kit fit equipment, trading under the name of buy your biceps shop. He put 7,000 of his own money. What is that 7,000? Capital. Yes. Capital. Uh, into a business bank account, transaction A. And in his period, uh, first period of trading, on 31st March 2017, the following transactions offered. Paid rent for the shop, purchased equipment inventories on credit, took out a bank loan 1,000, Purchase shop fittings for cash 2000, sales of equipment cash 10,000, sales of equipment on credit uh, 2500, payment to suppliers 5000, payment received from customers 2500, paid interest on the loan 100, other expenses all paid in cash 1900, drawings 1500, what they want? Post transaction A to L in the ledger accounts and balance of the ledger accounts, you will need the following ledger accounts. Actually, this information they don't need to give. You should know. This is additional support they are giving. By reading the transaction, we should understand what type of ledger account they should offer. Can we go one by one now? First one. Actually, I don't use the word share capital, I use the word owner's capital. This uh, the first from the first question? Uh, this is a new? A new, a new, new example. New example. So, how much? Uh, he put 7,000 of his money into a business bank account. So, I will open bank account also. Now, double entry. Someone tell me please. 7,000 he introduces that to business bank account by the owner. Where should I debit and where should I credit? Bank account bank debit. Bank account debit, how much? 7,000. And credit where? Capital. Capital. And I also need to write the, uh, what you call, narration. So here, what I will write? Here, what I will write? Bank. So you please, uh, see, there are various ways of writing it. The shortest way is to write the name of the corresponding other account. So here you write what? Owners Capital. And here? Bank. Bank. So first transaction colors. You understood uh, the hub? Tell, tell me again. Uh, no problem. Now you read the question. See, they are saying uh, where is that? He put 7,000 of his own money mm. into business bank account. Okay. So that's the start. So when he is putting 7,000 and then what is the double entry we should pass, which we have done. Clear? Uh, this is double entry rule, yeah. Yes. Mm. Yeah, I debit here and I credit here. Okay. Uh -huh. Yes. Good. Second one. Uh, paid rent of shop for the period. Now here we need to make an assumption. This man at the moment has any cash in his hand? No. All the cash is in the yeah. bank. And the question doesn't say tell you that they are paying by cash or paying by check. We have to make an assumption that this is paid by yeah. bank. So uh, how, how much? 3,500. I have to credit here and then debit to where okay. should I debit? Rent, rent account. Three thousand five hundred. 
this uh, narration here what i will write rent rent and here i will write bank, bank. so that is a second entry yes sir clear yes. mr uh, uh, on yes. third one purchased equipment now for purchasing equipment and within bracket they are saying inventories so now what is the business he is into is an inventory uh, selling keep fit equipment machine. so this buying equipment is for is like a fixed asset or for the trade purpose trade purpose trade purpose if it is trade purpose what is the correct description we should write purchase purchases we should write purchases so How much? What is the amount? Five thousand. Five thousand, and this is purchased on credit. Credit. So then we need to have a Substance. another account. So you can say creditors, hmm. trade suppliers, trade creditors, payables, any word you can use. So now what is the double entry? Debit. Uh... How much? Five thousand. Very good. And then credit? Five thousand. Where? Supplement. Yeah. So uh, narration here. I will write creditors, and here I will write purchases. Next item. Took out a bank loan, one thousand. Now then, we need to have one account called here. Mr. Muhammad. Aiba. Tell me the relation between this and uh, what, what we are doing now. You came for the last class, no? Sir. Ah, but uh, not uh, study. And the. Uh, and the host. Okay, no, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, you need to understand the rule here. Make the table. Open the table. Uh, if. if any of the asset increase we debit if any okay. of the asset decrease we credit okay? okay and like that liability blah 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 mm -hmm. now we are using example to practice this rule Very well. okay now if you read the, this example for example purchase equipment inventories on credit now first we need to understand this transaction is a uh, purchase of fixed asset or purchase of normal item for the purpose of sales. That you have to understand first. So we understood it is normal purchases. Assets. This is no, no. Uh, inventory. Inventory, mm. uh, when you use in word inventory, that is for the purpose of resale in the normal business. Mm. You are keeping your inventory for customer's purpose. Not for your lunch. Uh, keeping table and keeping perfume is two different uh, scenarios. Table is used to sit and walk. But the perfume is to sell to customer. Mm. Correct? So here, this man who buying equipment to sell to customers. Okay. So you call it that one purchases. Purchases in our normal accounting logic is expense. So therefore, expense is increasing. Mm. When expense increase in Mudir, we have to debit. So that's why I debit here. Huh? And then the other question is, how you bought? You, did you pay cash or you got it from some of your friend uh, on credit? Mm. What happened? Actually, we purchased okay. this on credit. Mm. So, the getting things for credit, you have to pay them in the future or you don't need to pay them in the future? Mm. Future. What do you call that? Credit. Mm. So it's a uh, example in our accounting logic is what? It's a uh, liability. When the liability increasing, what do you need to do? Liability increase. Mm. Here, uh, uh, credit. Credit. Mm. So that's why I credit it here. Okay. Clear? So let's mm. continue. Next one, uh, took out a bank loan. So when I take out a bank loan, 
So my bank loan is again a liability. So my liability will increase by how much? 1000. And that I am receiving this money and that will reflect where? The bank, or I am taking this 1000 bank loan and where will I keep this? Cash. No. It will come to my bank account, no? So, uh, see, you can make that assumption also if you want. But uh, we will make an assumption that comes to the bank. So what will happen to my bank account now? It will increase by 1,000. 1, so, so, here what is the narration I write? Bank loan and here bank. This is now understood? Yes sir, clear. So, next one. Purchased shop fittings. No, shop fittings. Now tell me shop fittings is what? It's a, is the inventory of fixed asset. Fixed asset. It's a fixed asset. And we buy this shop fittings for cash. cash. So what will happen now? So I need to have one account here. Fixed assets. Shop fittings. Uh, and how much? Two thousand. 2000. This 2000 I debit here and credit to bank. Here I write shop fittings and here I write uh, bank. Is that clear? Baha? Yes. Good. Next item. Sales. Sales of equipment on credit. Now that we are doing the sales and this we are selling on uh, credit. Correct? Cash. Ah, sorry, cash. Cash. So, I will open one account for sales. So, uh, bank, how much? Here cash. We'll uh, we have to assume like that. Otherwise, then you have to open a cash account. Mm. That's a big of a you know journey. So I'm just making a very shortcut assumption. All uh, goes to the bank. So here, sales. Yes, so uh, starting to buy. Is it? For the two and Mr. Wanda. This is coming here for under what? Hmm? As it's the ability to put the... Which one? This. Sales? Oh. Sales is what? Income, you have to see, we have five items now. Asset, liability, in, uh, equity, income, expense. Which one? Sales. Income. Income. So income, uh, you see, then uh, find out the rule. Increase credit and decrease debt. Ah. So sales is the income and it is increasing, so we should credit. Okay. So, uh, that I have done. Next item. Sales of equipment on credit. So, how much? 2000? 500, but it is debtors. Correct? The RS? Yeah, debtors. In short, I written debtors. Debtors, right? Yeah, D T B T O R S. You don't pronounce the B. You just debtors. better read debtors. Mm. That's it. B silent. Yeah, B silent, exactly. So, uh, 2,500 and then uh, we have sales here, that's fine. Next item, payment to suppliers. So when you are making payment, uh, what will happen to our bank balance? 
bill reduce. Yes, yes. cut it. So how much? Five thousand. And our supply, where is our supply now? Yeah, here. So here, creditors, CRS, bank. Yes. <coughs> Next item. Mm, payments received from customers, two thousand five hundred. So we have debtors here. So I received two thousand five hundred from him. So I credit the debtors, and then uh, my bank balance will increase. So I will debit here debtors. Is that clear? Next item. Payment to receive, yeah, uh, receive from customers. Pay, paid interest on loan. So interest on loan is what? Example of expense. So I paid interest. Hundred. So. This is uh, bank. Uh, not uh, what was bank alone? Uh, see, uh, good point. If you have not paid the interest, but when you take a loan, interest will be coming. But if you have not paid the interest, then your bank loan will increase by that amount. But they are now saying you paid the interest. Mm. Then your bank balance will go down. And expense will increase, but bank loan will remain the same. Uh, right, okay. Then that's fine. Next item: other expenses, all paid in cash. So we have other expenses: one thousand nine hundred. The expenses 1900 is coming from bank. Okay, next item drawings. Drawings is what? Big drawings. Who, who does this? Owner. Owner. So, drawings. How much actually? 1500. Thousand five hundred, and then you have here partners current account. Two one thousand five hundred bank, and here, yeah, that we have written. What is the next item? I think that's it. Yes. Now we we have posted the accounts. Please tell me anyone. Have a doubt? What's, can, what's meaning INT? Uh, INT? Interest. Interest. In short, I have written brother. Mm -hmm. Interest. This is. Uh, uh, Dariba. 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 Okay, now uh, please tell me before I continue, is that all transaction understood? Clear? Baha? Okay. Yes, clear. Then can we balance now? Let's try to balance. In balancing, there is a rule. Now everyone knows what you do is you check the total of the debit side. Don't write. Check the total of the. Can you show this, Mr. Muhammad? Yeah, I'm oh, showing that. What's up? What's up? I will be sharing this, obviously. Yes. Mm -hmm. It will come to the group. Uh, so take the total of the debit side, take the total of the credit side. Check which total is big. And write that total here. In this example, on the debit side, you don't have any total. Correct? So, only total I have. On the debit side, there's no. Ma, you see. Top, you see. 
no no total mm. so we have we have only credit side total so i write the that total on both side now then we have empty here see this area is empty correct then we need to fill that area how do we fill it today we fill by this amount Next, we need to find out this account is a balance sheet account or PNL account. If it's a balance sheet account, we have to take to the next year. For example, table balance, closing balance. Still, I will continue using that in the next month, next year. But if it's an income and expense item, I will take everything to my profit and loss account. So there, I am not going to take it to next year. So what then you do? If it's the capital, tell me balance sheet item or P&L item. Balance sheet. Balance sheet item. So what you do is balance. Carried forward. And this balance carried forward. What will happen now? It will come. Where it will come? It will come to the next period. It will come. Op see, please note opposite side from here, opposite side below the total, and same amount should come. These are the conditions. First, what you do? Check the total of both sides. Find the which total is big. Here the total seven thousand. Here the total zero. So I write both the total within these lines. Then I need to find out the difference here. Difference is this total minus whatever the number sitting here. Here, what is the number? We have zero. So seven thousand minus zero is seven thousand. Then we write here balance carried forward. And this balance carried forward, I need to bring it down to here. In your real exam, don't write these lines or don't put this circle. This is for your knowledge so now what you do you write here 7000 and balance you see again here i used the word cf credit forward here i'm going to write brought forward i brought this number from here and I am taking this number from here to here. Okay. And, and this, uh, this uh, it, uh, must be between owners and the capital? Or no. this fix it? Or, or Every it? account, same rule. Uh -huh. Every account, same rule. Only the numbers change now. Hmm. B, what's the BF, brought forward. Brought, brought forward. B R O U G H T brought mm. forward. And this one carry forward. Okay, now can we try bank account? Now in bank account, actually I don't have little space problem, but let's manage. What you need to do? You need to take the total of the debit side and the total of the credit side and you need to tell, find out which total is big total. Can you do that, Baha? Please. 7, 8,000, uh, 18,000 plus 20,500 debit. debit side. Okay, how much is on the credit side? 14,000. So which total is big? This debit. debit side total is big. Yes. So what we do then? We write 20,500 20,500 on both sides. Clear? Mm. Now what you do? You then take the total of the credit side. Total of this. All of this. How much? 14. 14,000. So, 14,000, 20,500 minus 14,000, 14, how much? 6,500. 6, That's 6,500. 
you write here. In other words, uh, practically, end of the month, if you go to bank, what is the bank balance you have? 6,500. So, this one, a report. And then here, actually I don't have a space. Please write here. Huh? Brought forward. Uh, 6,500. Understood? So that is bank. Now rental. That's easy. 3,500. 3,500. 3,500. Balance. Carry forward. And balance. Brought forward. 3,500. Purchases. Five thousand, five thousand, five thousand. Balance uh, carried forward. Balance brought forward. Five thousand. Creditors. Uh, debit side total five thousand. Credit side total. 5,000. Is there any difference? No. No. Balance. And then? After that, this all uh, take to balance sheet? Yeah. Uh, I mean, we'll now see. After that, we're going to go there only. So here, uh, uh, bank, 1,000. 1,000. 1,000. Balance. Carry it forward, 1,000. 1,000. Balance, brought forward. Two thousand, two thousand, two thousand. Balance, carry forward. Two thousand. Balance, brought forward. Sales. Twelve thousand five hundred. Twelve thousand five hundred. Balance carried forward. Twelve thousand five hundred. I will write here. Twelve thousand five hundred. Balance brought forward. And then we have debtors. Both side total same. So no problem. And then we have interest. Hundred, hundred, hundred. Balance carried forward. Hundred. Balance brought forward. Other expenses. Thousand nine hundred, thousand nine hundred. Balance carried forward, thousand nine hundred. Uh, balance brought forward, one thousand nine hundred. Thousand five hundred. 1,500, 1,500, balance carried forward and balance brought forward 1,500. Colors. Now the balancing exercise also done. Now please tell me so far what we discussed is clearly understood or not? Understood? Is that okay? Then I am going to move on to another point, trial balance. Can you have the word trial balance please? We will use the same example, I am going to come back to this example, okay? Uh, 
Var şey ruhte yazıp yazıp fermanız. Balanced. La la, mesela ne var? Balanced kıymet el merkez el mal. Ah, kıymet el merkez el mal. Mesela ne var? Sıra el balans. Ah, you remember I draw one diagram. Can you go to the diagram, please? I show, I draw one diagram. I think I have here. Somewhere I draw. No, this one. So, this diagram. I was, I was, when we start our accounting the, after the theory discussion, we started with this. And then we have source documents. Then we talked about prime entry box. Then we talked about double entries. Now we are going to discuss about prime entries. Okay. Now what is a prime entry? Time balance is just, uh, you know, those days we had computers, no one had computers, everything was on paper. That time people want to find out whether the ledger entries must be posted arithmetically correct or not. They did it through time balance. So let's write it down. Time balance. document to <clears throat> ascertain the arithmetical accuracy of the Ledger entries How do you find it? Very good? Good Very good, no? Very compact So, same same of the time Yeah, man I'm going to say it again I'm going to say it again I'm going to say it again Abu Talib Sir, how did thousand nine hundred? Give me a fee, sir. Give me a fee. Seven. Seven. Five. No, Abu Talib Sir, what is the size? The size. لا بتعرفي أصلاً؟ Okay, this one where? This, um, uh, this uh, actually I got it to one of my students, purchased me for my birthday. Okay. <laughs> Last year. Give? Uh, yeah. And he sent it to me Sri Lanka from Qatar. Yeah. So this one, uh, I think uh, 200, uh, no, uh, $75 dollars, this yeah. case. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. so uh, trial balance is a control document uh, to ascertain the arithmetical accuracy of the Legend. Now, by saying that, do can, can you think the is the trial balance is a hundred percent foolproof document? By normally, a trial balance how the trial balance will look like? A trial balance will look like this way. You will have uh, three columns. You name it TB trial balance, and here it is description. And then here, debit and credit. And based on the, the answers to your ledger entries, you will post all your ledger entry answers here. For example, uh, sales. 
we know that sales is a debit balance or credit balance. Correct. Sales is a credit balance. So we will record it here. We have uh, assets. Assets is a debit balance or credit balance. Debit balance. So we will record it here. Now when I say assets, it's not one asset. There are so many assets. So you will have a lot of line items. Uh, furniture, motor vehicle, uh, electronic equipment, like that. And then also you have liabilities. It's a credit balance. Capital. Debit. So no. Capital. Ah. Allah, Allah. It's all built there. Capital, how many big credit? Equity. Not asset. No, no. Capital, not the asset. Capital, so no. Rasal mal. Rasal mal, how many? Liability, market liability and equity. Nature, credit. So you have here, and then must you have income? I have written expense. Is normally debit. Now mathematically, the mathematical expectation is that when you take the total, the total of the debit side column, masala. For example, the total of the debit side column is 999. What is the expectation of the debit side column total? Same. Same. It should be 999. And by saying that you have this 999 on both sides, now can you conclude, uh, say that it's a foolproof document, no errors? Although, the trial balance is in agreement. Still, there could be accounting errors. Understand me? Errors uh, means in the uh, world, yeah. Mistake. uh, mistakes, uh, discrepancies, uh, fault, uh, so on and so on. Could, could uh, accounting, errors. there could be accounting errors. Still, there could, uh, I should add one more letter, there could be, there could be accounting errors. Is that clear? Later, in a later chapter we will going to study, there are what type of errors which will still be there, even the trial balance is agree, in agreement. When I say in agreement, the word in agreement when I am using this word is to say that the total is equal. Okay, now can we go to that example here and can we prepare a trial balance using this? Trial balance is prepared for a, a covered period or a given date? Given date. Please remember, trial balance is prepared on a given date. It's not for like six monthly month. It's for on uh, 22nd of April 2022, like that. Mm -hmm. Okay? It's not from 1st January to... No. That particular halal. Same, yeah, same, same time, period, same, period. same time, okay. not the same period, the same day, same time. Okay. okay? Right. Now we have, as we know, we have the bid column and the credit column. Now in this example, first item is what? Capital. So capital we have? 7,000 credit. So can we take it? So cap capital. 7,000. Please, I am slowly. Okay. okay. You start to buy capital. Okay. Okay. Mm. So first we took the capital. Oh, yeah, from where I take? I need to march over here, yeah? No, I don't know. Uh -huh. Because if I tell you, I can't understand. Uh -huh. Okay, so I took from here. Huh? This is where I took that 7,000. 
7000 this 7000 is a debit side or credit side here this credit side so that's why i have in the trial balance i have taken credit side okay good. clear clear faham to faham tali good now bank account now bank account uh, how much is the balance uh, yeah sir Uh, 6, 7, 5, debit balance or credit balance debit. very good so bank account 6500 debit so we can tick that so we have taken it uh, we have taken this also here next is the rent account rent account how much uh, debit or credit debit. debit so we can take that also rent is gold colors purchases rent or but debit huh? rent oh yeah let's see how we think rent is what nature is it asset liability Capital, income or expense. Other mm. shuno. But but, but uh, if you got uh, the difference quantity between the two side in the credit side, so like uh, like the money, bank account. Ah ah. Here, here uh, uh, you got it in debit. Yes. But less. Why? Ah. Uh, see, in you, when you deposit money to the bank, your total deposit of money is twenty thousand five hundred, and you took money fourteen thousand. Ala, there's Ala Sunu meaning six thousand five hundred money of your money is in the bank. Okay. Ala, yes, sir. Yes. Ah, that's why I debit here. And also here, it is see balance is coming here. Debit. Okay. Mashi. Yes. Okay. Uh, the after rent we have purchases, correct? How much purchases? Thousand. Purchases five thousand. So we have taken purchases now. So I can tick that. Then creditors. Do we need to take creditors? No. No. Yes, sir. Sorry. Creditors. Do I need to take it to trial balance or no need? No. No need because there's yeah. no balance. Yeah. Uh, bank loan. Should we take it or no need? Yes. Yeah. Yes. How much bank loan? Seven. Seven. Debit or credit? Credit. Credit. Next item. After bank loan, we have shop fittings. Should we take it or no need? Yes. yes. We should take it. Debit or credit? Debit. Debit. How much? Two thousand. Two thousand. And then uh, uh, shop fittings, uh, sales. How much? Twelve five. Twelve five. Debit or credit? Credit. Or sales? So, how is? Binna. Okay. Next is debtors. Do I need to take it? No need. No need. Inter. Uh, next uh, item is interest. I guess. Interest is debit or credit? Debit. Next item. So interest is okay. Debit is okay. Other expenses. Other expenses. So I'm not telling you why you would sell them credit. Sales credit. Same rule we followed earlier. Mm. Yes. Sales is an income. Mm. And income is increasing. Same rule. Same rule. Same rule. Same rule. Same rule. So, shopping. Shopping is how much? Shopping is two thousand. Two thousand. I'll pay. Then we have uh, other expenses. One thousand nine hundred. Debit or credit? Debit. Debit. And the last item, drawings. I think. One thousand. 
Domains, debit or credit? Debit. Debit. Now what should we do? We should take the total. Check to see whether the total of the debit is equal to total of the credit. How much the debit total? 20,500. 20,500? So credit total 7, 8, 20,000? Everyone understood or not? Okay. Okay, Mr. Homi. Yeah. Good. Okay. So this is uh, that our in our journey before we prepare the basic final account. This is the understanding we need to have. Using this, then we can prepare the final account. Anyway, uh, let me go to the textbook. You can uh, count uh, zero, no need to count. No, no need to begin there. Right. Next here, we try to prepare basic final accounts from the trial balance. Next is, see, there could be adjustments that we will discuss a little later. Now we try to understand how to prepare a basic final account. A basic final account will have One is profit and loss account. What you have? Profit and loss account. Number two, second one, balance sheet. Actually, now we have different new names. As of now, I am not using those. So, old name I am using profit and loss account and balance sheet. So what the profit and loss account will tell us? Whether the business has made good profit or not, we can calculate by preparing profit and loss account. And profit and loss account is for a given period. It could be for a day, for a week, for a month, for three months, for six months or even for one year. Whereas balance sheet is on a particular date. And the balance sheet is to reflect you are position of the business. How much is your assets? How much is your liabilities? And what is your capital position? This will tell you actually a financial statement. We call it this final account. There is another name we use it. Financial statement. A financial statement is like a mirror. If you stand in front of the mirror, how beautiful you will look. Okay? So every day morning uh, before you uh, get out, you generally stand in front of the mirror at least to do something on your head and you come. So, mm -hmm. so a financial statement, when we produce, before we give it to our users, we are very careful reviewing it. Why? We need to confirm there is no unnecessary problem that we may have to face as preparers of the financial statement. Correct? So this financial statement includes a profit and loss account and a balance sheet. Now, profit and loss account, as I told you, is to find out the profit and loss account is to find out the profit and loss. Performance. Performance of the business. Is this together? Uh, under this name? Um, I didn't understand your question. Uh, profit and loss balance sheet. Together we call it financial statement. Ah, okay. yeah, we also said final account. Here yeah, you see I written. Yes, okay. See? This mm -hmm. final account is in other words uh, financial statement. Okay. So, uh, profit and loss account uh, we will find out what? Performance of the business. And whereas balance sheet we will find out? Financial position. Of position of the business. Now we need to understand the format. 
At the moment, we try to understand the very basic format. Okay? The basic format will be this is we call a columnar format, huh? columnar basis. Those days we have uh, ledger type. Now we don't use the ledger type, we use columnar format. Profit and loss account. The profit and loss account will start with sales. Whatever the sales we have uh, ended up, we will start with that. And then we will subtract something called cost of sales. A cost of sales, uh, it's a bit too early to explain you all, but I just write the equation. Uh, you may not understand fully, no problem, because we have a detailed discussion later. Yeah, balance sheet did the equivalent of that? Balance sheet did the equivalent of the market. Yeah, it's the same, but it's the same. Okay, so... Is it the profit and the loss? Yeah, this is the yeah. profit and the loss. Then I will talk about the balance sheet also. So the cost of sales will include something called opening stock. Then we will add purchases and then we will subtract closing stock. The discussion related to this is a big discussion that we will talk in a, another chapter. For the time being, just understand like this. So, you have this. Then you answer here is first profit. Here you have the sales, opening stock, purchases, you take the total and then you subtract the closing stock. Then the answer is, this answer is cost of sales and then you subtract cost of sales from Opening Opening Oh, it's Stock, opening stock. Opening stock. CS is closing stock. Yeah. Okay, so we have the difference is what gross profit and then uh, OS plus. Yeah, you will add the opening stock. No, plus, not, not yeah. minus. No, minus, not minus, plus. Mm. Mm -hmm. Then we subtract minus. Expenses. Final answer is profit or loss. Is that clear? It's a very summarized and small basic I have given you. Gross profit. Is the difference between sales and cost of sales? Mm. Okay. No, sir, no, sir. Mm. Fine. So we have prepared the profit and loss account. Now we need to understand how to prepare balance sheet. asset any given date so we have uh, assets under that non current assets under that you will generally have property plant and equipment then you have current assets Again. Property, plant and equipment. Fixed assets we call it. Those days name is fixed asset. Now we don't use that word. We use property, plant and equipment. Current assets. We have inventory, receivable, uh, cash at bank. Cash in hand. <coughs> uh, 
So you take this total. We call it total essence. What do you call that? Receivable is the amount of money. Receivable is the amount of debtors or customers. Money that you need to receive from customers. Receivables. Then we have capital plus liabilities. You have uh, capital under that owners capital plus profit minus drawings. Then you have uh, liabilities. There are two types of liabilities non current liability, example, maybe bank loan. And then you also have current liabilities. Example creditors. So you take the total of this and the total of this. And the total of this here, this three. Now if you take the total of these three, one, two, three, that should be the for example this is 101, this total must be 100. Is that clear now? That is balance sheet. Balance sheet, uh, the front, uh, one Mizania? Part of Mizania. Mm. Mizania has two profit and loss and balance sheet. So? Yeah, Mizania twice. Yeah, uh, that's later. And uh -huh. for the basic, mm. we talk about when you talk about the basic Bizania, that has uh -huh. only, as of now, as we are discussing, we have to balance sheet and PL. Mm. Now, can we try to do complete? Can we prepare the profit and loss account using these tables? One of you, can you try? Uh, last one, uh, tot first one total assets, last one total. Uh, uh, total, yeah, okay, okay, yes. Total capital and liabilities. <laughs> Can you try please? Uh, prepare the profit and loss account. We'll do together. Using the trial balance, what we prepare? Profit and loss? Yeah. You have the trial balance program, you know. We yeah. prepare the trial balance. Yeah. So not this. The numbers. The numbers are high. Mm. We use in this, we need to prepare the profit and loss account. Find out the P and L item. So here, see, in this trial balance, some of them are balance sheet item. Some of them are P and L item. Let's find out first that one. The capital is what? Capital? Yeah, balance sheet item or penal item? Uh, uh, balance sheet. Balance sheet item. So this is balance sheet item. Bank account? Balance sheet. Balance sheet item. Rent? Uh, this is profit and PNL. Purchases? Same. PNL. Bank loan? Balance sheet. Yeah, this is balance sheet. Shop 
seconds. Shop, uh, this, uh, Balance sheet. Balance sheet. That's it. Sales make table. Mm -hmm. Sales? Sales. What can do? Very good. Interest? Yeah. But Balance sheet. Interest? Riba. Uh, Riba. Riba. Oh, Riba. Yeah. Riba. 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 Are PNL. Other expenses? Same. PNL. Drawings? Uh, balance. Sheet. Very good. Now we have the other profit and loss account only. Uh, How much is sales? Sales. Uh, 12,500. Very good. Minus cost of sales. In this business, do we have any opening stock? No. no. So opening stock is zero. Purchases? 5,000. So I can take the total of these two. So 5,000. Do I have closing stock? Yes, sir. Ah, don't worry.